Well, hey guys, welcome to another video and we're back at the ponds. And here's the thing about working at a tackle shop is we don't really get a big break on tackle, but we do get to see some really cool stuff. In fact, some stuff that I've never fished with before. And so I'm excited because a lot of videos moving forward is gonna be me seeing stuff in the tackle shop and saying, hey, I wanna fish with that, let's check it out. Now everyone knows Mega Bass is super famous and everyone throws the Vision 110 jerk baits, but I realized that in Phantom Outdoors, we carry the Big Gabbit Frog. It's also summertime, perfect frog weather. So I picked up two, I picked up this kind of black and blue color, and then I picked up a purpley whitish color. Y'all know I just like throwing purple. These things look so cool. So today we're only throwing the Mega Bass Big Gabbit Frog, but here's the deal. These frogs are a little bit heavier than your average frog, and they have this really cool scooped out section in the front to displace a lot of water. I'll be throwing these on a 7.5 head the extra fast rod today and we're literally only throwing these frogs I got the big camera set up I'm gonna put the chesty on y'all know I hate the chesty at this point I'm gonna have the chesty on have the big camera ready to go because the goal guys is to catch that five pounder that I'm told lives in these ponds that's enough talking let's go fish all right guys here we go once again it's after work so the sun's setting perfect frog time here's the problem is I forgot my extra tough so I'm rocking the hay dudes not really good for getting wet um so hopefully jeffrey will be here soon and he'll like help us out but maybe we'll catch a small one just to get warmed up and the, the grass is really high and i've seen one gator since i've been here so i'm gonna go find a spot actually that i can throw and uh hopefully not get either taken away by a gator and not have to flip a five pounder over all this grass real quick i'll tell you guys a story there was a snake in our backyard the other day i was at work and amber called me she's like hey there's a snake in the backyard and uh i was like well are the dogs okay she's like yeah they're inside i said well look, i'm gonna be honest with you i hate snakes call like text somebody in the neighborhood uh, group on facebook get them to come get the snake. And sure enough, they came and got it, no problem. And she asked the guy, she was like, well, what, what happened? It, it, it wasn't a venomous snake, it was like a water snake. So she asked him, you know, what happens if you get by a non-venomous snake, right? You just get bit? And he's like, yeah, I mean, it hurts, but you know, nothing bad is gonna happen. But like, I'm gonna tell you guys, I don't know the difference in a venomous snake and a non-venomous snake. Like, if I get bit, I'm just going to go into cardiac arrest because I'm going to freak out, okay? What do y'all think lives in that hole right there? Because I had it, he's like, well, you want to cut him? Oh, come off? Yeah, he came off. Did he hit it or he just... He, uh... Just it. No, he kind of came out a little bit on it. I don't think I let him... I don't think I let him take it very good. Okay, well, that's our first bite on the Bill Big Gabbit here. I'm getting hit. It was just sitting there. I was cleaning my shoe off, and he he hit it. I literally threw it out there and let it sink. I barely have him. That's a good fish for these ponds. First fish on the big gabba, baby. I feel like it doesn't really count though, cause uh, I literally threw it out there, was adjusting my shoe and he bit it, but he freaking got it, y'all. That's cool. Nothing better than frog fishing. All right, guys. Let's we'll see if I can get another one. Like I said, I wasn't even working it. It was just sitting out there. That was a fun fish. Let's go. Here's the only problem. All right, this is a good spot to bring him back up. Well, here's a good spot to bring him back up. Nine. Oh, it is a nine yeah that's what my other one is and i wanted everything to kind of be the same Told you. that was that was a good one I put you on that that's a good one Guys, there is nothing like catching them on a frog. There is nothing like catching them on a frog. 
that one's hefty right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh him. Oh baby, that's a good one. That big gabbit hanging out down there. All right, I don't even know if it's gonna pick up on the big camera. You got one? No. Oh. All right, here we go. Guys, going crazy. Two point five six on the scale. So a little two and a half pounder. That's cool, man. I knew he wasn't gonna be a PB or anything, but that's a real good fish for these ponds. Let's get him back in. All right, dude, thanks for playing. That was fun. That was a good fish. He's good. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video of me just getting out here and killing time, fishing with the Mega Bass Big Gabbit Frog. That frog is so cool. It's easy to sling halfway across these ponds and it got bit even though it's a little bit larger than the normal frog. Shout out to my boy Jeffrey for coming and fishing with us. Always a pleasure. And as always guys, if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. Come along this journey with us. I'm gonna be fishing a tournament this Saturday, so my next upload will probably be that tournament report, but don't have high hopes because it is hot as crap here in South Carolina. One, five, eight. That's a, that's a tie for second bit. Well guys, we won our first one. Let's go. But I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.